You know what a blasphemer is? It's like this little girl right here. She hates God. She hates the ways of God. She despises it because she can't do whatever she wants, whenever she wants, and just live her own life. When God has rules and commands and boundaries, and when you tear down those boundaries, you reap a whirlwind. You tear down the boundaries of God, the consequences are severe. You lose peace, you lose joy, you lose rest, you lose security. Oh, you are troubled in heart, you're troubled in mind. When you tear down the boundaries of God, you reap a whirlwind. But God is known by the judgments he executes. God is known. I mean, you can know God. But praise Lucifer. Why? Because he's a light bringer. No, he's a fallen angel. He's a master liar. Yeah, a Lucifer has come to steal, kill, and destroy you. And look, he's doing a great job. Look what he's doing to you. Look at Lucifer. Look at the life of servant Lucifer the devil. Look at the life. Oh, Jesus Christ, he has washed me clean. Jesus Christ has forgiven me. I stand forgiven. I have a hope. I have a future. I have a destiny. I have the promise of God. The promises of God are all yea and amen. Let it be done. That is for sure. That is certain. God doesn't lie. And everything God does, it is perfect. Perfect. Infinite perfection. Let's talk about the nature of God. Let's talk about the character of God, the attributes of the Almighty and His infinite perfection. That's what makes me fear Him. Oh, when you start thinking about God, you think about how all-powerful He is, His divine power, that means His perfect power, perfect in control, perfect in every aspect of power. When you talk about that He's all-knowing, He knows everything at every time. Every person, all knowing, nothing takes him surprise. Nothing does he not know. Oh, people, you need to start thinking about his holiness. He's not like you. He's not like these gay homosexuals or, or sodomites. He's not like them. God is not like you. He doesn't sit up there and go, man, look at that. Look at that group orgy. That is great. Come over here, angels. Come over here. Look at down here. This is what I created. Look at those golden showers. Look at that. That is so disgusting. God ain't up there. He's angry. Not up there just saying, hey, oh, we're going to just let the wicked continue and let them destroy the earth, destroy one another, destroy the little kids, destroy people. Oh, no, God says enough. Enough. It's over. Enough. That's why God created hell. The wicked are thrown into hell. The ungodly are thrown into hell. The drunkards are thrown into hell. The sodomites are thrown into hell. Oh, I tell you, the liars thrown into hell. Those who do not forgive their parents are thrown into hell. Oh, yes. The proud. The proud are thrown into hell. I'm telling you what, you think God's going to let sin into his kingdom? You think God's just going to let you plunge right in? and take his beauty, his glory, his wonder, his greatness, and just trample over with your own ideas. You already did that. Look what you've done to God's creation. God made everything good. God said it is good. And then look what you did. You have recreated, and you have perverted it. Look what you have, America. This is it. This is what you have right on the cable car. Look at the buildings. Go eat some clam chowder. That's it. Buy some more clothes. Buy another iPhone. Oh, that's it. Oh, happy, happy. Oh, you're happy. Yeah, that's why you have to have a glass of wine for lunch. Oh, lunch is over. See, that's ungodly. A woman should not stick her tongue between her fingers. That is not, that is not good. That is not, will anybody tell her that's not good? Well, you think you want my daughter to stand here and stick her tongue between her fingers? What does that mean? It's ungodly. It's ungodly. It's ungodly. Should not somebody, should not somebody warn you about the coming judgment? About standing before God? About going to hell? About eternal torment? Eternal damnation? Shouldn't somebody warn you? I'm trying to warn you of that day your heart's going to stop beating. Everyone dies. It's absolute for sure. You can die. There's innumerable ways you can meet your maker. Innumerable ways you can die today. 
and be standing. Absent from the body, you're in the presence of God. The minute God says he requires your soul, young man, you're not guaranteed to live to 80. God could take your soul tonight. He doesn't understand that God is angry with the wicked every day. God hates all workers of iniquity. You know what a worker of iniquity is? When you teach a little kid that he can be a transvestite. When you teach a little kid how, how to sodomize. Oh, when you teach a little kid, it's right. It's right to masturbate when you're nine years old. When you're 12 years old, it's right. It's not right, it's wrong. It's bad. The way you live. Oh, the way you live is ungodly. Now I want you to repent, America. I want you to repent. I'm getting a headache out of here. Edward, I gotta stop for you. what? I gotta stop for you. I gotta say hi. Hello. How you been? I'm hanging in there. They kicked you out of here? They kicked us all out. I know. They came up to me and said, hey, they gave me a warning. And but about ready to drag me away. Yeah, well, you got to I know, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> hey, I'm pushing it. I, I don't know what to do. Well, I, I was under the banner that the First Amendment. Uh, I'm going to stand on that. I got a First Amendment attorney. And I, we go everywhere, so we we have to stand. I told the guy, you're going to have to arrest me, and then we'll have to go, because I think it's wrong. And then go see the ACLU and... Well, they don't really like me too much. But. Oh, they don't like me either. <laughs> I had to file a, a complaint before, and the woman just threw the papers at me. You know, I was like, wow, really? So they're all in, you know, cahoots with each other, and they're in bed with each other. So you're not, you're not doing your uh, art anywhere? No, we're up on 4th and Market, you know. Yeah, cause cause I thought it was just here. I was going to... We were, where were we at? A beta breaker. We had our big old speaker and we preached down in the Golden King. And then, uh, well, no, over in Broadway we go. Well, uh, they say uh, July the 1st, they're, they're going to start pushing it. Yeah. They say July the 1st, they're going to start pushing it. Oh, really? Wow. All right, Edward. Well, hey, man, I want to see you there, man. What you get saved, man. You don't like <laughs> that No, man. You don't like the well, shirt. Well, wait, Come man. on, they're pressing, they're pushing it on me. I'm gonna have to push them back. But this is the thing. Why not have a t-shirt? This is my opinion. That says no liars, no greedy person, no fornicators. Hey, hey, flip the sign around. I got that. I got this t-shirt right here. Yeah. But they're flying the flag up here by they're, they're pushing it on me. I'm gonna stand up and say, look, I disagree with this. But wait a minute, how many people do you think that are in the cable car line that are fornicators? How many? Um, probably all. <laughs> so why just key in on homosexuals? Because God Okay, Edward, Edward, I'm gonna tell you why. I didn't hear you. This is their month. Yeah, Edward, I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah, have you ever seen me wear this shirt, Edward? I have not. Okay. God told me to put this. I know you're gonna listen. I have a relationship with him. God told me to put this shirt on. Okay. And I put it on. I'm serious. I wanted to wear other shirts. I wanted to do other. Come on. Yeah. You, you know this. You know what this? This is like a target. It's like a bullseye saying, "Hey, come take me down," because they don't like me. Oh, I know they don't like me. <laughs> I, I know they don't. But like if me. God is for me, who can be against me? God is for me, Edwards. Christ is my Savior. I walk with Him every day, every moment. This is just an overflow of what I what? experience every day. What is your God's name? Oh man, he's got 175. What do you want? Yeshua Hamashiach, El Gibor, that's my favorite one, champion God. Huh? Those are Jehovah. No, I, God. Those, that's what it says in the Oh, Bible. Jehovah Shama. Jehovah to sit canoe, my righteousness. No, he no, he describes his character, his attributes, and who he is through names. Just like your name means what, Edward? Edward? Yeah. Edward. Oh. No, I'm just <laughs> no, 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 but it does have a it's meaning. A, a your name, your so. name is important, correct? Yes. What and God's mean? name is important. What it's the great mean? I am, Elohim, Adonai. I mean, you want to describe the names of God. We'll stand in awe. I fall down in fear. That's why I have fear of God. Okay. okay. All right, buddy. All right. All right, man. Okay. I want to see you there. Don't serve. Don't be a Jehovah Witness. Thank you.
Don't do it, Edward. <laughs>